All right, for numbers one, two, and three, basically gonna do exactly what happened during the class, during the lesson. Start at 60, you play the exercise right once. And only once, you go up five beats per minute. Take it as far as you can, so you can't play it correctly anymore. Well, I say that because that's the easy idea, the easy to understand idea. However, you still need to finish with the perfect take. So, let's say you get to 150, and it takes, you know, attempt after attempt after attempt, and you just still can't get it. You know, rest like 30, 60 seconds, don't play anything, then try it again. And hopefully you'll be able to get it at least once more. So, you know, once you can do that, you know, write down how fast you got and call it the day. Um... If, even after that 30, 60 second break, you still can't play that speed, start backing it off. Just like come down like five or 10 beats a minute and keep doing that until you can get a solid take again. And then write the fastest speed you still got. So let's say 150, you just cannot get it, but you did get 145. So even if that means you're, okay try and word this better. So you get up to 150. And again, I'm just, this is for example. Let's say you get to 150 and you are just struggling really, really hard to get that. It takes like a couple minutes and you still can't play it right. So you stop for 30 to 60 seconds, try it again. And let's say you still can't get it right. Like, okay. So write down 145 as your fastest speed for that day because you did get it, all right? and then start backing the metronome down like five or 10 beats a minute until you can play it solid once more and then you're done with that. <clears throat> so even if the final take that you do is slower than the fastest one you did for the day, that's fine. You still wanna end on a correct take. So keep your fingers down as much as you can, as much as possible on this. Only take your finger off when you need to hear a lower note. All right, 60 beats a minute, so I'm just gonna demo this at different speeds, so this way you can follow along when you reach different speeds and make sure that what you do lines up with what I do. I just better play this right. All right, 60 beats a minute. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Two, <clears throat> excuse me. One, two, three, four. One forty. One, two. I'm gonna count a little bit different. One, two. One, two, three, four. One sixty. One, two. One, two, three, four. One eighty. One, two. One, two, three, four. 200, Yes, you will be playing that fast someday. It may not be this week, it may not be next week. But it will happen. Absolutely will and faster. You will absolutely be playing faster than that eventually. All right, number two, 60 beats a minute. One, two, three, four. That was wrong. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. 
three. Uh, and just remember, no matter how tempted you might be to go up by 20 or 10 beats per minute, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Go up by no more than five beats per minute. It's so important. So important. It's not just about building speed. It's developing your motor skills. Getting the mechanics as solid as you can. So, no matter how fast fast you get, or fast you got on the previous practice session, start at 60. Go up in five beat per minute increments. I promise you, it is efficient. So efficient in getting you better. I do it with my own stuff. So, I do it. I make myself do it. You can definitely do it too. All right, 60 beats a minute for them. Three, one, two, three, four. Double time. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> one, forty. One. Two, one, two, three, four. My pinch harmonics are not coming out too well. One, uh, one sixty. One, two, one, two, three, four. One eighty. One, two, one, two, three, four. What the heck was that? One, two, one, two, three, four. And yeah. Trying to do a pinch at the end. I'm making mistakes. 200 beats a minute. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 220. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. And 240. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright. So, number 4. He's got three different ways of playing your C scale. Um, wait a minute, I gotta change this setting. Alright, so, no need to do a metronome with it. You can if you want, but I just want you to be able to go th get through it. So, like the highlighted portion, the first way of doing it, basically picking each note twice, except the very last note, because I want you to end it on the downstroke. <laughs> play each string twice except the last one here when you make your way back down so this way you're again ending on a down stroke so now we have hitting this note twice so this way you stick with uh, hitting you know each string two times so you hit that high E string going up once twice and then you hit that note again to begin going down the E string once twice <coughs> right, and last way here There you go. Up, down, up. So up the string, down the string, up the string. And then on the way down the scale shape, you go down the string, up the string, down the string. So here's what it sounds like. <laughs>
So, <clears throat> just focus on getting that down and uh, just see how well you can just run up and down the C scale next time and then talk about the Dorian next. So, if any questions come up, please let me know and I'll see you again next week.